Inshallah, wa First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory <coughs> to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechak Pradash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Archaeum out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity and shalom to the few Akwath that are listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled, So What If Some Don't Believe? You know, especially um, these Christians, man, because you know, these Christians seem to think that they have got um, the true understanding of the Bible. But, you know, when you actually have your running with a Christian, which I've happened to have my running with a particular Christian recently, you learn that um, when they read these scriptures, they don't actually apply logic, especially the women. They apply emotion because you can go back and forth with them, which is a waste of time. And our elders, they warn us about that. It's a complete waste of time going back and forth with a Christian. You know, they, they have been spiritually blinded. The Heavenly Father has seared their conscience with a hot iron which you can read about somewhere in the New Testament. I can't think of where it is at the moment. But, um, <clears throat> you, you know, you can bring out the precepts, break it down, you know, and they, they will still find a way to, 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 to somehow dismiss it. And it's like, but hold on a second, but, but you claim to be a Christian and, and, and you believe in God and you believe in the Bible, but then when you bring things in the, out of the Bible, that, necess that don't necessarily gel with them All of a sudden they, they, they dismiss it Well how, how can you Say you believe in the Bible then If when things that are being brought out of the Bible You, you are um, <laughs> You are um, I'm Fighting against it You know for example I had this Christian talking about How there isn't going to be any division Amongst the household and stuff And I was like whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second I was like, but, 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 but then that means you're going against prophecy I said you're going against prophecy. I said read Matthew 10 and 34 verse uh, Matthew 10 34 on down. You know where uh, Yahweh Shai speaking says that think not I'm come to bring peace on the earth but rather a sword. And then it goes on to talk about how he's gonna set a variance, a mother against the daughter, father against the son, so on and so forth, and a man's foes shall be there of his own household. So I said, I said, wait, wait, wait. But but you know that the Christian wouldn't even let me bring out the precept is that all of a sudden they just want to run out the conversation the moment you hit them up with the facts and it's just like look over here at great millstone through the spirit and power of your how about i say this humbly but we have the 100 percent truth okay and you know truth aside like you know bible aside right what do you notice about the truth in in, in any other situation okay the truth hurts People don't like to hear the truth. Well, when it comes to the Bible, why is it going to be any different? Why is it going to be any different? No one likes to hear the truth. And that's not going to change just because it's the scriptures. It's going to be the same thing. Yahweh Shai, he, 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 he was rejected by the vast majority. So how, how can you follow a doctrine that the vast majority accept and, and claim that's the truth when Yahweh Shai, when he walked on this earth, he was rejected by most? It doesn't make sense, but you see, once again, these these Christians, they um they don't they don't um they don't use logic. You know, they, they think with their emotions and, and, and you know when it comes to the scriptures you have to think logically. You can't use your emotions, man. Otherwise it will never make sense. You won't get the true understanding of what the scriptures is trying to say to you. Alright? So let's go over here and let's start book of Romans chapter 3 and verse 3 and it reads for what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect so yeah do, do you think that just because you don't believe just because it contradicts your emotions that somehow the heavenly father he's going to be like you know what if this Christian he didn't believe in what I said, you know, it seems to trigger that individual. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna go back on my word. 
th that's not happening, bro. This is what you need to get in your head. The most tired does not give a fuck about your emotions. And sorry, I've got to say it like that. But, but you know, it's so that you, you understand. The most tired doesn't give a shit about your emotions, bro. You know, because look, right now, the Heavenly Father, he's bearing, he, he's long-suffering with the wicked. You know, you think he wants to see Esau, Edom, destroying his people, destroying the earth, right? And, and all this wickedness going on. No, but read Romans 9 and 22 on down and it'll explain to you that he's basically allowing their wickedness to build up and build up and build up so that when the Heavenly Father comes with his wrath, his judgment, he's going to be justified in the horrific judgment he's about to bring on, 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 on the wicked. He will, oh, he will be justified. You see? Oh, my days. I bet that's a woman driving as well. Oh, my goodness. So silly, man. <sighs> so lucky. You know, so he will be completely justified in the judgment that he's going to bring upon the wicked people, man. So he's letting their, their wickedness build up, build up. He's letting that tab just build up, right? And when he comes through his wrath, you know, <laughs> They're going to be in that Cain spirit, Genesis 4 and 13, for my judgment is greater than I can bear. You see? And they ain't going to have no cloak for their sins because when the time went, you know, the window of repentance was offered onto them, they, they disregarded it completely, man. They took it for granted. Okay? Romans 3 and 4, God forbid, yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. And we're looking to overcome when the people are judged. All right? So, so, don't, so don't worry about... And we're going to be justified in our sayings. You know, when the Heavenly Father comes through with that wrath, you know, and he shows the wicked just what time it is, we're going to be justified in our sayings. So, you know, right now is not the time to... Look, if they don't get it, move on. Okay, don't don't waste your time trying to break down the scriptures to an individual, especially these Christians who are so set in their ways and are not willing to repent. A complete waste of time, bro. Just 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 forget about it. You're gonna you're gonna get nowhere. You're gonna lose hair. You're gonna lose sleep. It's not worth it, man. Just forget about it. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 55 and 11 and it reads so shall my word be <sighs> why are you driving so slow Isaiah 55 and 11 so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it okay so the heavenly father's word is not going to return unto him void. If he says that the Edomites are going into captivity, they're going into captivity. If he says that two thirds of the nation of Israel will die on this side and will have horrific judgments, then that's exactly what's going to happen. It doesn't, just because your emotional mind or your Christian belief contradicts that, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden that it's not gonna happen, bro. You can't claim that you follow God and that you follow the Bible, but then when the when the facts of the Bible is being brought out, you're you're you're, you're rejecting it, you're denying it, you, bro. What does that mean? Clearly, you don't believe. And the thing is, the more you and the more deeper you get in the scriptures, the more you understand the will of the Heavenly Father, the more you understand why He wants to bring down this horrific judgment, man. Because the fear of the Lord has completely vanish from this place you know why do you think the world is in such a state of perpetual wickedness it's because no one fears the lord you know they they think that the lord is just some massive teddy bear some passive power that's just you know do what thou wilt do whatever the hell you want all you got to do is call on jesus christ accept him in your 
part as your as your Lord and Savior, and you could go back to just being a wicked nigga in the world, and he's and he's still gonna save you, man. No, bro. See, th th this world has got the complete wrong idea of the Heavenly Father, and that is the reason why he's going to come through with that sword of destruction to, to to instill that fear back in you. You know, because Proverbs one and seven says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom, right? But fools despise knowledge Roughly paraphrasing So that's the reason why the Heavenly Father Yahweh Hashem Shai Is going to come through with that horrific judgment man You see So that that fear of the Lord Can be instilled back in you man Which is which is lost right now It's no longer there Okay And you know You, you Christians that are so set in your ways And don't want to see the light and claim that you have the, the true understanding of the Bible Well, do you know what? All I can say to you is only time will tell, bro Only time will tell When that MOTB is unveiled And, 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 and you're talking about you ain't going to get it And Jesus Christ is going to save you, right? And then, and then you have no, you, you can't eat, you can't do, you can't drink You know, the, the miracles ain't working in your favour Then you will know that you've been deceived all along all right, this is Isaiah 65 and verse 13, and it reads, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And you Christians that stood so stiffly, for the name of Most High Christ blessed Right Most High Christ blessed Okay Stood so stiffly on that You are going to be ashamed And confounded in that day It doesn't make sense That a, 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 a white man Right By the name of Jesus Is going to come save you When all the white man has done for, for, for generations and generations Is oppress you bro How is your oppressor going to save you man what, what, what does the scripture say Envy thou not the oppressor What's that in the book of Ecclesiasticus? But, but you, you Christians are so simple, man. You, uh, 2022, right? All, all this wisdom coming out, all this knowledge coming out, you still think the, the, the Most High and, and His only begotten Son is a, is, is a white man. Looking like one golden retriever. Bro, this is why when Yahweh Shai, okay, when Yahweh Shai returns to gather His elect, you will be ashamed. First thing you're going to be thinking, oh, so he is a so-called black man? So he's not a white guy? Next thing you're going to be thinking is, what's his name? And then you're going to realize that he's that, that the judgment is coming upon you rather than the salvation. Okay? Isaiah 65 and 14, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. Because Lord willing, we be a part of the elect. We're going to be singing, man. We're going to be singing. We're going to be excited. We're going to be grateful that, you know, all this labor... All this labouring in the truth All the slander that we uh, uh, Had to face in this truth You know it, 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 There was actually a, 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 um, a beneficial reward to it At the end of it Right So we're going to be singing aloud man We're going to be praising Okay Behold my servant shall sing for joy of heart But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart And shall howl for vexation of spirit See and that, that You, you two third Wicked Israelites, you don't want to repent, you don't want to come back round, you still want to be a Catholic, still want to be a Pentecost, still want to be a, a Muslim or, 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 or an atheist, whatever it is, man, you are going to be howling for vexation of spirit, man. When you realize that you had it wrong all along and you 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 are uh, um, disregarded and dismissed what the prophets that the Lord had sent onto you, you dismissed everything they said. You are going to be howling for vexation of spirit. Trust me. All right. Let's go to the book of Revelation. Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Okay? So those of us who, who are... Because you see, one thing, the Christian don't read the Bible, man. And if they read the Bible, they're reading scriptures, basic scriptures. Basic, basic scriptures like John 3 and 16. They don't even know 
they couldn't even tell you why the the 12 tribes of israel are in the position that we're in right now they couldn't tell you what, what the lord is going to do for us in future you know they'd be teaching bullshit like you can't have sex in the kingdom of heaven so how the hell are we going to be fruitful and multiply you know what, what 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 else what else did they come up with they come up with um ah uh, and it just left my mind um um, you know, they, 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 they don't even know that, that hardcore slavery that we served, right? Where we were scattered across the four corners of the earth. They don't even know that that's written in the scriptures. And that was prophecy. And that ultimately, we went through that because, um, because we transgressed the law, statutes and commandments of the Heavenly Father. They don't understand that. So, yeah, they, they just claim that they believe in God, but they, they don't read. Because if you did read... And you, you, you applied logic rather than emotion You would understand the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai Okay Talking about Oh there ain't going to be no division amongst the household But that's one of the signs One of the prophecies that were in the last days And then you try and bring it out And, and, and then they're running away it's Just a typical fucking Christian for you man Don't want to hear the truth They, 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 they fit that uh, uh, What's that Is it Isaiah 30 and 9 where they say unto the soothsayers to, to, to preach unto us smooth things You know They, they don't want to hear the harsh truth it's too, it's too raw for them They don't want to hear it man But, but okay that, that, that will be to your own demise And my mileage right now is showing me 777 7 represents the number of completion man Alright we're, we're almost out of here man we, we, we just got to endure right, Through the spirit and power of your house Shout out Lord willing He puts the spirit on us to endure until the end man Okay so one more time Revelation 1 and 3 Blessed is he that readeth And they that hear the words of this prophecy uh, And keep those things which are written therein For the time is at hand The time is at hand Now is not the time to be, to be being sluggish man Now is the time to seek how about Shimmy Shai with all your heart, man? Because time is short. Okay? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Sirach 5 and 7. Okay? Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. We we're going to close out here. And it reads, When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they have looked for. And, and, and that's going to be two-thirds of you wicked Israelites and um and um, uh, um the, the heathen nations when they see the salvation of the elect verse 3 and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit say within themselves this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor you know the world genuinely thinks that oh we're, we're crazy we're just some niggas with bibles we don't know what the hell we're talking about we're just bible bashers wasting our time okay verse 5 how is he numbered amongst the children of the most high and his lot is among the saints they're going to be like how him him he's the elect he's the one receiving spiritual power he's the one that's being beamed up into those chariots him <laughs> verse 6 therefore this is what they're going to be saying to themselves those that didn't believe therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us okay so look man it doesn't matter whether these people believe or not because at the end of the day they're gonna have to give account thereof for every vain word that they speak matthew 12 and 36 all right so so let let look let the blind lead the blind man Job 12 and 16 says wisdom and strength are his uh, um, And you know uh, the uh, Roughly paraphrasing The deceived and the deceiver are his Alright So the Lord he, he has those who He wants to deliver who, He will give the truth And he has those who he wants to deceive Who will be destroyed Okay C Contrary to what these Christians believe That oh God is all love right He's just some teddy bear in the heavens that just let everyone do whatever the hell you want and you're gonna get saved anyway. Nope, it don't work like that. But anyways, I believe the point was made. I ain't gonna beat a dead horse. So hopefully this lesson has been edifying. And until the next time, I say shalom.